All right, so I did an X-Force team, and so I decided, you know what? I'm going to do a DC team now. I don't think I'll make this a recurring thing, but I've said that before, and it becomes a recurring thing, But so who the fuck knows? Anyway, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a Titans team as well. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a Titans team, and yeah. So this is going to be more less Teen Titans and more like the current Titans right now, where they're like the fill-in Justice League for the world. Um, so yeah, so for this pitch, um, and my kind of angle for it is that, um, the Justice League's back. Like, the Justice League has been reformed, and now, um, Justice League's back, so the Titans aren't really as needed for global defense. But, however, John Kent, you know, super, you know, son of Superman, is like, hey, what happens if the, if the Justice League goes down again? There's no fallback. Like the la one of the problems was there was no fallback, in and there wasn't any. And the Justice League can only do so much. So John gets the idea to keep the Titans going. Like that's his whole idea is that he wants to have the Titans as like a second line of defense for Earth, as well as doing things that if the Justice League aren't around. There, they can be a helping hand. Like John has this whole thing of like, yeah, why does the Justice League need? You know, why? Uh, you know, the Justice League can only do so much for the world, so it doesn't hurt to have more people. So he keeps the Titan. So he wants to have a new version of the Titans around. Now, having said that, I will say that John isn't the leader of this team, but he is the guy, and even he knows. Like, yeah, I, I like, I. You know, I'm not the you know I'm not there yet as a leader, but I do I do know how to bring people together. So that's the idea for this Titans team. So let's get started with the actual leader of this team, and that's Starfire. Why did I pick Starfire as the leader? Because Starfire has proven herself as not just a Teen Titans member, but a Justice League member. I think a lot of people forget that Starfire, for several incarnations, did lead the team. She was a second-in-command, at the very least, in some cases. Starfire has major battle experience, leadership experience, and someone that the other t members of this team can get behind and follow. Like, it's definitely, a, you know, Starfire is definitely a person that they can rally behind and ally with, you know, and see as someone that they can absolutely follow into battle. That's something you really need for your team. Also, Starfire is kind of an underrated powerhouse. I don't think people realize how powerful Cory Coriander is as a character, so this would be a cool way to show it. Anyway, let's move on to our next character, and that is, of course, John Kent himself. Uh, John is, um, would definitely be a big powerhouse in this team, and I think he would be the, I would put him as the second in command of this, uh, of this group. John is one of the most powerful beings on the planet in the DC universe, or or at the very least, growing to be that level. Now that he has the blue energy power, um, he has done a lot for the DC. He has done a lot for his Earth, you know, filling in for you know, filling in for his father, and this would definitely give him like so. And training under Starfire to be a full-on leader for the team, you could see like there was inklings there for Dark Crisis, but it wasn't there yet. Hence, why he kind of surrendered control over to Dick as the leader of this ver new version of the Justice League. So the uh, the idea of it, um, of like having Starfire as the leader is so he could like, even st even like John, even though this would be in this idea would be, it would be his idea. He would still be like, look, I'm not ready yet. And I think you'd be perfect for this le for leadership. So he would study under Starfire to learn from it, you know? So yeah, John, absolutely. Next up we have Cassie. AKA Wonder Girl. Cassie would definitely be a lot of, uh, I've always loved Cassie um, as a character. So to have her on this team would be awesome. Um, Cassie, of course, is the daughter of Zeus. She's also incredibly powerful. Um, and again, like an underrated power, one of those underrated powerhouses. And she's been with the Titans before several times. Um, so she would be like, oh, we're making the Titans again? Sure, I'm in. And again, I think she would. Re she's really responds to Starfire, so I think that that would be another cause for her to be here. But yeah, Cassie. So the next member is from the Wild Storm, uh, not Wild Storm, but the uh, Milestone universe. So, and it's not like they haven't like mixed universes before, but like it wouldn't it, like this would be kind of fun to have. And that's Rocket, you know, Icon's sidekick. Rocket would be so much fun to have here. Um, 
she's intelligent, she's powerful, and she's pretty witty. I would love to see her on this team, just kind of being like, uh, just kind of jokey and fun here. And I think even Corey would be like, it's kind of like having Gar Garfield around on this team. It really does feel like it. But she's also very tech savvy, and again, another powerhouse. Even I, you know, I, there's, there's a reason why Icon took her under his wing. Anyway. So let's move on to the next member of this group, and that is Miss Martian. Another, um, like I said, this is meant to be like a second line. Like, you may be thinking why I have so many powerful people here in this team. It's mostly because, like I said, this is meant to be a second line of defense for the Justice League. If the if the Justice League falls, then the this version of the Titans jumps in. Like, this is, and also... This is like to be another, like I said, another second line of defense for the just for the Justice League in case they fail or they die, all die again or go missing. So you need to stack your cards up for this. You really need some powerhouses in your own team to uh, fight the good fight when Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman and the rest aren't here. But Miss Martian would also be the team's telepath. She'd be fit like much like how she was in Teen Titans. Miss Martian would be the one like telepathically connecting everyone. She'd be the one who would be keeping it, like having the mental link between everyone, and also the one who would be kind of like the team strategist, the team like the team's coordinator in fighting, you know, whatever opponent they are. Mass of even though she's a white Martian and not a green Martian, she is still a very va she's still a very powerful team member. She's so yeah. Also, I really love the character. Next up, we have Roy Harper, Arsenal. Roy would be a lot of fun to have in this team, and again, he's kind of getting his li the limelight back, and he's been uh, there's been a lot of damage control for Roy, so nice. It would be nice to have him back. Also, Starfire and Roy have a history, so I think Corey would go to Roy and go, "Yeah, I need someone with your skills here," and I'm not calling Jason. <laughs> so Roy would be the team's weapons expert. He would also be the one who would be the uh, the stealth guy. He's the guy who would get in, get out. And R while Roy has been known to kill people, he, that's not him anymore. Even he said, yeah, I don't do that anymore. I've got my life back. I got my daughter back. I'm doing good. And I think like he, he like even Roy, even Roy has said, I want to go back to the Titans. I, I miss them. So I would totally have like, yeah, Roy, let's have Roy Harper on this team. So next up, is Jackson Hyde Aqualad. So Jackson Hyde Aqualad is would be our secondary Aquaman character. He'd be the one, obviously he's control over water, he's also the son of Black Manta, but he's also the sidekick of Aquaman. He is trained under Ar he is trained under Arthur. And I know what you're thinking. Some people like someone's gonna bring this up, so I'm gonna bring this up right now. It's like why do you have two LGB2 char LGBT characters here? You have we already have John, why do you need another? Let me and to which I say why, do, as a straight white man, I'm like, <laughs> why, why do you, why does it matter if we have two characters? Like, I don't, like, there doesn't need to be just the one, you know, character. You can have, two, like, I think it's like, yeah, why not, why have two, but not have them, like, shipped? Like, they've got their own, they've got their own relationships, so, yeah. Besides, he's pretty fucking powerful. And I'm pretty sure Temp... I've got this weird feeling they're going to kill off Tempest soon, so might want to call Jackson. Anyway, and our final member of this team is Stargirl. Now, if I was working at DC Comics and I was going to be tasked with writing um, Stargirl... Not Stargirl, this Titans book, I would be told already, Hey, I want to use Stargirl, and Jeff Johns would come in and bitch slap me because no one can use Jeff Johns' toys unless it's Jeff Johns. Unless it's Mark Wade, then you can use to then you can use Jeff Johns' toys because it's Mark motherfucking Wade. So, I, I would I've always loved Star uh, Star Girl, and to have her here to be part of like a secondary like a secondary Justice League makes a lot of sense for her character, and she's a great representation of the uh, of the past that came before. Like she can be like that representation of the Justice Society and and be like that link in case the Titans need help. They could she can just go like, hey, let me go call the JSA real quick. I'm sure Alan and Jay and the others um, can can help us. So and also she's pretty powerful in her own right. 
So there you go, guys. That's pretty much my Titans lineup. Um, you guys tell me in the comments below, um, what do you guys think of this lineup, and what would your Titans lineup be? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.